Hello students and as promised here is my video on cross rates with two or three currency. Before we look into it that how do we do the calculation, we will first go through the meaning of the cross rates. So as discussed in class, I'm just reiterating that cross rate is basically when the exchange rate of your currency in which you are the dealer is interested is not available in the home currency. Rather, there are other exchange rates which is available through which you can extract the exchange rate in which you are interested. So ideally, if I just say in one word, a cross rate is an exchange rate between two countries computed from each other exchange rate against the third party. And if you pay attention to the first uh, paragraph, which says that when the exchange rate of a currency in which a dealer or a customer is interested is not available in the home currency, one can determine the exchange rate by cross multiplying with other exchange rate. And this whole process is usually known as determination using cross rates. So today in this video, we will look into that how do the calculation of cross rate can be done if two currencies are given and if three currencies are given. But before we move on, hope you remember the discussion that we had in, in the class related to the concept because here I'll provide you a very quick trick which will help you to uh, solve your questions without any problems during your examination. So in order to make you understand, let me take uh, one example initially uh, with cross rate with two currency. So cross rates with two currency. So here what will happen, two currency rate is given. So first say is US dollars in terms of Euro is given, which is 1.09, which means that one Euro is equal to 1.09 dollars. Similarly, I'll take Russian ruble and this is the sign of Russian ruble. Uh, in terms of Russian ruble with USD, which is 85.21. What does it mean? It means that $1 is equal to 85.21 Russian ruble. And with this, I am supposed to calculate this, which means I wanted to know one euro is equal to how many Russian ruble? So as discussed, if you are comfortable doing that with a, a, just a unitary method, the basic logic, nothing like it. But just in case to, um, to, to manage your time during the examination and to also ensure that nothing goes wrong in your examination, please follow the simple trick which I have discussed in class. Here, what you are interested into is Russian ruble with respect to the euros. So we will first look into the Russian ruble, which is in numerator. So we will go through the available cross rate, which is available as 1.09 and 85.21. We will look into it that is Russian ruble is somewhere as a numerator. Yes, to your good luck, you found this in this second part of it. So yes, Russian ruble is in a numerator here. So if it is a numerator directly, you can write this as this one. Then with a multiplication sign, you will look into that is somewhere the euro is in the denominator. Yes, it is very easy. So you just directly took it as multiplication. You will multiply these two and then you are going to get your answer as 92.87, which is basically the exchange rate of Russian ruble with respect to euros. Uh, I have taken the current rate so you can quickly go on web and check that what is the exchange rate between euros and Russian ruble and I'm sure that you're going to find out a very close by exchange rate. So this is the exchange rate with in terms of the uh, uh, two currency. Let me take one more example uh, for cross rate with uh, two currencies. So I need some space. So I'm going to draw this line here. And in my second question, I am taking uh, euros by dollars, which is 0 0.92. And I took dollars by 
I don't know how many of you know this uh, sign. This is a, a sign of Philippines peso, right? So here I will take it as 0 0.018 and then I will take it Philippines peso with respect to euros. This is what I am interested into. Now, let, let's follow the same trick. Now, I'm looking for peso as a numerator. Unfortunately, it is not in a numerator. Rather, it is in denominator in this code. So the moment something is not in the form in which you are looking for, you know this is what we have discussed through logic also in class and through tricks also in class, which I'm just reiterating in, in this video. So you were looking for Philippines Peso as numerator. In the available quote, you found Philippines Peso in denominator. So which rule you are going to apply? It's a division rule, which means I am going to do 1 divided by 0, 1, 8. Now, this is for peso. Let's do it for euros. I'm looking for euro somewhere in denominator, in denominator. Unfortunately, euro is there, but not in denominator. So again, if it is not in the same form as what you are looking for, you have to apply the division rule, which is what you are doing it here, right? And if you simplify this, which means that you are going to through 1 divided by, let me calculate, it is 0 0.018 multiplied by 0 0.92. It is coming across 0 0.01656, which in turn will give you 60.386. So what does it mean? It means this is the rate that I was looking for. It is a Philippines peso by euros is equal to 60.386, which means that one euro is equal to 60.386 Philippines peso. So this is what exactly all about your cross rate with two currency. Let me quickly take you and finish up the video with my last part of discussion, with, wherein I wanted to do the cross rate with three currency. So what will happen if you are supposed to calculate a cross rate with three currency code? Okay, so here, if I will look into it, and let me take first que uh, first question, uh, which talks about, say, rupee, Indian rupee by dollars is equal to 81. Then euros by dollars is equal to 0 0.92. And then euro by pound is equal to 1.27. So here I can see three um, uh, currency codes is given. And what am I supposed to calculate? I'm supposed to calculate rupee by pound. This is what I am interested. So I was interested into basically a rupee by pound code, but unfortunately, say suppose when I am looking for it, I couldn't get that code. But this is the code which I can derive using cross rates. And again, we'll follow the same rule as what we were doing with just a small difference um, that here, first, we will pay attention to rupee and we will look into the question, is rupee somewhere in the numerator? Yes, the rupee is uh, in the numerator. So if I just write that, how is the quote written for rupee in numerator? So it is basically the first quote. Okay, the first quote, which is written as rupee by uh, dollar. Then I will look for uh, basically the pound. That is the pound is in denominator somewhere, right? So it is. So if you follow this step from here on, then your question will turn wrong. That's a very common mistake that a student tend to do, that they uh, started applying the concept for cross rate with two currency in three currency. This is not what you have to do. Okay. So once your um, Indian rupee quote you have written, now you have to cross multiply. This means in order to cross multiply, you need dollar somewhere as a numerator. This means I need dollars as a numerator right so you will check that is the dollars because you want this two here so that these two will get cancelled so basically you are looking for this so just check is it there unfortunately it is not there you have dollar into this code but that code is into um basically your denominator 
so we will use uh, this code with an only difference that we'll keep dollar above okay so we will take dollar by euros and then the story doesn't ends here in order to nullify this euro with euro you wanted to have now you need euro into um, basically numerator you you found this you can find this very easily in the third code wherein your euro is already into a numerator with respect to basically the pound now if you cancel this with this and cancel euro with euro you are basically ending up the one that you are interested yes or no yes correct now we will just substitute this with uh, the figure so just for the simplicity i will remove this sign this cross sign uh, so that you will not get confused but the whole purpose was this only okay so we will substitute this formula now with the figures so you will look for rupee by dollar rupee by dollar as it is it is available here into this rate so i will write it as 81 then you will look for dollar by euros now dollar by euros is not into this form so what you will do if it is not into this form you will find the you will apply the division rule so 1 divided by 0 0.92 then you will look for euro by pound euro by pound is directly available so you will write it as right as it is which means it is 81 multiplied by 1.27 divided by 0 0.92 and this is the rate that you are calculating for rupee by pound if i just quickly multiply this divided by 0 0.92 I'm getting an answer as 111.81. What does it mean that one pound is equal to this much of rupee? So this is the currency code that I plan to discuss. Let me solve one more question for your better understanding. This is a request from one of your batchmate wherein she has asked me that she needs some questions to practice and um, uh, related to the cross rate so this is especially for that student so uh, second question which i just wanted you to pay attention is say euro by pound which is given as 0 0.78 and then say canadian dollar canadian dollar by pound which is given as 0 0.54 and third one will be dollar by Canadian dollars, which is given as 1.28. And what am I interested? I'm interested into dollar by euros. This is what I have to calculate. So again, it's a three quote. As it is, you have to pay attention to the dollars that do. Are you having in the available quote anywhere dollar as numerator? Yes, you have it here. So we will just write the first, the notations for the quote. So dollar by Canadian dollar. Now you know in order to cross multiply, you need Canadian dollar at the top. And just check that. Do you have Canadian dollar as a numerator? Yes, you have it here. So you will write Canadian dollars divided by pounds. And now you know that in order to cross multiply your pound, you need Pound as a numerator just check it out in the third code that is it in the numerator no it is not in the numerator pound is in the denominator and therefore you will write the code as pound divided by euros right and we will just substitute now uh, whatsoever it is given so first one is dollar by Canadian dollar dollar by Canadian dollar we will take this figure which is 1.28 second one is Canadian dollar by pound it is also directly given we will take this one which is 0 0.54 and third one we will look into the pound by euros no it is given as euros by pound and therefore you have to apply the division rule because it is not available into this form so this is one divided by 0 0.78 and finally if you calculate the answer it, it is something like this which is 1.28 multiplied by 0 
divided by 0 0.78. Quickly, let me calculate 1.28 multiplied by 0 0.54 divided by 0 0.78. And it is giving me an answer of 0 0.886, an odd figure. But that's fine. I am taking up till say two to three digits. So what is this rate? This is the rate basically for dollar by euros. So dollar by euros is equal to 0 0.886, which means that one euro is equal to 0 0.886 dollars. Thank you and all the best for your exam.